Yeah, this is a, a, a complex, uh, you know, uh, field, and we don't have very definitive answers uh, for uh, for this. Uh, but uh, you know, there are many. Uh, there's a lot of research happening in that, and there are many different hypotheses. And uh, at an experimental level, a uh, lot of uh, findings are being uh, studied. So uh, one uh, uh, possibility uh, is uh, something called T cell exhaustion. Uh, there is an immunosuppressive environment which can be created. Uh, this uh, immunosuppressive environment uh, can be created by uh, overexpression of uh, checkpoint inhibitors uh, and uh, inhibitor molecules. For example, PD-1, uh, TIM-3, LAG-3, uh, TIGIT, uh, and inhibitors are being developed to this to overcome this immunosuppressive network so that T cells can then become active and start killing tumor. Other things which are uh, which which can which have been noted are uh, some. There is a type of cell called myeloid derived suppressor cells. These can also create an immunosuppressive environment, and uh, so you know that has been seen as a possibility uh, for uh, you know overcoming uh, you know responses from immunotherapy and uh, trying to uh, you know make a, maybe a mechanism by which the tumors can escape immune attack from T cells. Another one is antigen escape, uh, where uh, uh, you know the tumor cell, uh, you know, does not express the antigen, uh, or you know, uh, expresses an alternate splicing form of the antigen. So uh, that is another possibility. But there are multiple ways, and you know, people are a lot of scientists uh, are working on these uh, mechanisms to try and see if we can get better outcomes with immunotherapy.